Hey guys, I'm coming at you from Travels for Work. So, um, trying to think of some content to give you guys that might be of help. So, this is all about what is single action and double action. Striker fired pistol is. Now, uh, a lot of you might think that a Glock is single action, but it's not actually. A Glock is double action only. When you pull the trigger, the sear grabs the back of the striker. And then as you continue to pull it, the sear drops out of the way and releases the striker. So it does two things for one pull of the trigger. A lot of striker fire pistols now are single action. So like my Smith & Wesson 30 Super Carry here. I've already cleared it, but I'll clear it on the camera just so you can see that's clear, okay? So chamber, bolt face, magazine well. Let's slide go forward, point in safe direction, pull the trigger, clear. I guess I'll go ahead and do this for, you, for those of you who don't know, okay? So after you clear the firearm, the takedown lever is over here on the left side. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple different methods on how to take the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus apart. Now you only have to, I want you guys to watch the barrel here. You only have to come back to where it unlocks. You see how it drops out of place? That's all you have to do, come back there. Now some people might have the dexterity to do this, some people may not. So, so if I just take, this and I come back until it unlocks. It's kind of difficult. There we go. Now I can take the firearm apart. Okay. The other way I can do it is by just taking, if I have a, a red dot, I can just pull those together and then I can move the takedown. Okay. The other way to do it, you can't do either one of those, and this is probably the easiest. Just take an easy empty magazine, place it inside the firearm, pull it back hard, really hard, until it locks back to the rear. So it should lock back to the rear automatically. So what happens is that that follower right there pushes up against this part, which is the slide lock. And basically when the firearm is empty, when the magazine is empty, it will lock it back to the rear. Okay, the other method, which a lot of people have difficulty with, is to push up. You have to, you have to trick the, you have to trick the firearm to thinking there's, you know, an empty magazine in there, right? So you have to push up on that slide lock. So what I do is I do it with my thumb, and I just pull back, and then once it's locked into place, then I let go. Okay, so those are a couple different ways you can take the firearm. Once you get the takedown lever down, in this case, then you can pull the trigger and let it come apart. That was taking the slide and the frame apart. I'm gonna show you how to take the spring and the barrel off, but you actually don't need to in this in this case, I was just gonna show you guys how the internals work. But anyway, basically you you push you push on the spring and just pull it out. And once that's out, you can actually just move that barrel back and forth. Okay, so once we have it apart, uh, you know, we can clean it, do whatever we need to with it. You don't need to take any of these internals out. Uh, although it's not hard, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you lose a spring or something of that nature, and now the, the firearm's inoperable. Okay, so this is the basic field takedown. You should only have a frame, guide rod and spring, a barrel, a slide, and the magazine. Those are your components of pretty much any semi-automatic pistol in today's day. So what I'm gonna show you guys, and the main purpose of this video today is to show you how 
a striker fired single action pistol works internally. So to do that, uh, we're gonna look back here, okay? Right there. So that is the sear. You can kind of see where it's kind of a little worn out from shooting it. And then you have your, your trigger bar here. So most firearms nowadays, the striker fires, are gonna have similar components to it. They're gonna have a trigger bar. The trigger bar is gonna be attached to the trigger. The back of the trigger bar is gonna have some kind of sear. Then there's gonna be a disconnector, of course. Now, I'm not sure when Glock came on the scene, but I think they revolutionized the way firearms were made and just a lot of people copied them. Now, if there's another firearm out there before Glock that had kind of like the Glock model, so to speak, I don't know of it. Uh, I'm not I'm not super well versed on my history of firearms, but I do know the Glock is well sought after because of its robust and pretty much awesome design. That's why everybody else copied them. Smith & Wesson, H&K, Canik, I mean, you name it. There are so many variants out there and they all work similarly. So like I said, the Glock is a double action only. And this firearm right here is a single action. I uh, don't have a Glock to show you, but basically that trigger bar and the Glock, when it comes back, it hits the back of a striker. It grabs the back of a striker. striker. So this would be the striker here. And if you look at the if you look at the inside of Glock, then you'll see that it's very similar. Okay. And the same thing with the other striker fires, like I said. Um, <clears throat> but uh, that striker fire, or that striker, the back of the striker is pulled back by the trigger bar, which is attached to the trigger. And the back of that trigger bar is where the sear is located. The sear is what engages with the striker so when you pull that trigger back it moves the trigger bar which then causes the sear to engage with the striker which at, at a certain point the, the sear drops out of the way and then the striker goes forward that design allows it to have a three and a half five and a half trigger pull basically uh, versus, let's say, a double action 92 series Beretta, which is, has like a seven or eight pound trigger pull. And it's a very constant trigger pull. Uh, so a lot of people will say that Glocks are single action. If you ask 10 people, you'll probably get nine or 10 answers that say that Glock is a single action pistol. Why is this one a single action pistol then? Well, much like the Glock, the trigger is attached to the trigger bar. And the trigger bar is separate from the sear. I wanna say that again. The trigger bar is separate from the sear. On a Glock, the trigger bar and the sear are one, if I can remember correctly. It's been a while since I took the Glock armorer's course, but... Um, basically you put that trigger bar in there and it has the sear attached to it all way already it's already it's already there in this one the sear is completely separate from the trigger bar but the trigger bar still actuates the sear it causes the sear to disengage from the striker here we have a frame and then we have our our slide the sear is going to be right back here and then the, the striker is gonna be right here, okay? So this is your striker, and this right here, back of this is the sear, right? There's a spring underneath it. You can see that the striker is more forward. This is the front of the firearm. If this was put, put together, the striker would be forward of the sear. When you cock it, the sear grabs onto the striker and it causes it to be under spring, spring tension. I want you to see 
just look right here. Okay, I'm gonna pull the trigger, watch what happens to this here. See how it moves up and down, yeah? So what happens if the pin was the, the striker and it was cocked, it would be sitting right there on that sear. I'm pulling forward. At a certain point, when I, when I pull the trigger, the sear moves out of the way, causing the striker to, to go forward. Because the striker's under spree tension, you see. The point of the video was to show you guys how a striker fired pistol can be single or double action depending on the model all glocks are double action if anybody tells you otherwise they don't know what you're talking about at least when it comes to the internals of the firearm i'm not saying that they maybe don't know how to shoot or maybe they do know how to shoot but the internals of the firearm is what we're talking about here i hope that helps you to understand exactly what a single action does and basically whatever the the device is either the striker or the hammer it has to be under spring tension before the trigger is pulled if you pull the trigger and it causes the striker or the hammer to become under spring tension and then release then that's a double action okay so in the single action case when you cock it it's already there so let's go ahead and put this thing together and we're gonna take our slide we're gonna take our barrel and replace the barrel inside and we'll make sure that it's level here that's 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 the the locking portion right so make sure it's level there and not there there okay we're going to take our spring our spring and guide rod and we're going to place the front the front end and this one's easy it's easy if you put the if you try to do it this way it's not going to work because it won't be able to go through the hole in the slide and then we're going to place it in the lip there on the back of the, the uh, barrel and now we're going to take our our slide and our frame and we'll put them together and firearms should go together easily if they're not going together easily you're probably doing something wrong the firearm is just dirty or there's something broken now as per earlier all we need to do is come back until it unlocks so you know it's unlocked by when the barrel drops out of place okay so that's part of the cycle function see how the barrel goes down then i can just take the the takedown pin and rotate it once we do that, we want to make sure it functions correctly. So, cock it. Remember when I was telling you about it being cocked? So now the striker inside internally is under spring tension. Point in safe direction. Pull the trigger. Hold the trigger back. Cock it again. And you should hear the disconnector. Now you know that the pistol is functioning. The last check you can do is take your magazine. Place it inside your empty magazine and see and make sure it locks into place. Basically, you're just checking out all the functions of the firearm itself. Okay, guys, you know the deal. If you like the video, you know, like, share, subscribe, do all the things you're supposed to do via YouTube, Instagram, whatever, wherever you're watching this. So I'll see you next time. I really hope this video was helpful for you. 